Hello all, welcome to Electric Vehicles and this is Pawan, Pawan Kumar. Now I am back again with an interesting video of wind energy. Now Mr. Azhar, co-founder of Right Renewable uh, Tech is with us to explain what is wind energy and its uses. Hello yeah, sir. Hi Pawan. How are you? Uh, I was just going through your uh, videos, electric videos, it was yeah. really nice. Okay. So uh, anyhow, thanks for coming Mr. Pawan. See, Thank nowadays uh, people are more uh, converting about the renewable energy sources. Yes, exactly. Like uh, people are using solar uh, systems, but the solar system, yes, we do agree solar system is good. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is a maintenance where you have to weekly clean the panels yes. and you have to maintain it. If it is dust, there is no exactly, uh, the output is there. Mm -hmm. But the wind turbines, you don't need to maintain okay. actually. Once you install, the work is finished okay. and you don't need to depend on the sun. Mm. Okay, the wind is constant anywhere. Yes. You will get the winds. Yes. Okay, uh, maybe hardly, mm. you may not going to get three three hours hardly, that's it. Rest right. of the total uh, day, you will get the wind energies. As you can see, our turbines is uh, running and yes. generating the power. Yes. So, in turbines also, we have uh, two types for the domestic, like uh, one is horizontal, which we already installed and one okay. more is uh, vertical. Mm which we already uh, there. You can see the two types of turbines. Okay. The vertical uh, and horizontal where we come with the DC and AC energies. Before going to start the video, I have an important announcement for you all. Most of the people are getting confused while choosing best and suitable career option. And they used to get a lot of doubts and questions regarding their career, like uh, opportunities are there or not. And what about growth in that career? To clear all these kind of questions, India's largest learning platform, An Academy, is conducting mega Career Assist Summit on June 12th and it's completely virtual event dedicated to explore your career options. In this summit, there are events like master classes, workshops and sessions on soft skills which are very useful for students. And also there will be master classes related to mechanical, civil and electrical engineering jobs by industrial experts from top companies like Harley Davidson, Odafone and Bajaj Auto Finance. For everyone who register and attend the summit will get six months LinkedIn premium membership and also free courses and certification too. With this, there will be also a test during the event and by participating in that event, you can get the chance to win scholarship from an academy. So what are you waiting for? Click the link given in the description and register yourself. An Academy, learn anytime, anywhere. Okay. Usually our turbine this year we install is three phase mm -hmm. AC energy. Okay. Why we are using three phase AC because there is a high amperes in this okay this so three phase in the sense we can use this uh, for agriculture purpose also 100 right? percent you can use for the agriculture mm -hmm. purpose you can use for the domestic purpose okay you can use for anything okay so you said uh, two types of uh, turbines right that means two types of proper uh, propellers right yeah exactly so we used to have a horizontal one and vertical one vertical one. so domestic which one is more better for more better for uh, our uh, horizontal is more better uh, than the vertical why because vertical needs more wind speeds okay so vertical will start minimum three miles per second wind is needed for the verticals okay but horizontal will run with the 2.5 mm. 2.6 also right is it possible to produce uh, electricity throughout the year with these turbines yes yes hundred percent the electricity will be generated throughout the year mm. no need to depend on anything okay and uh, actually as per my knowledge uh, wind energy is nothing but here uh, kinetic energy will be trans uh, will be converted into uh, rotational energy, rotational energy will be connect, uh, converted into electricity, right? Am exactly, 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 power. Okay, so how much efficiency will be there when compared to solar energy? See, the efficiency is 80%, mm -hmm. 80% is there in the wind energy. Okay. Once the turbine will start mm -hmm. with the minimum rotations, okay. the energy will start producing 80% minimum efficiency. Oh. So, uh, to produce 1 kilowatt energy, uh, how much amount of area is necessary like uh, to uh, to install that uh, that much of uh, turbines it's like very less no energy. need to no need like a solar mm -hmm. uh, like i have a solar where we need a lot of space mm -hmm. to generate 1 kilowatt i think if you have uh, uh, 2 square feet of space also more than sufficient for us to generate this energy right okay and how many fans are needed to uh, produce 1 kilowatt energy see uh, the turbine that the generator mm -hmm. If you want a 1 kilowatt, 1 kilowatt generator is sufficient for you. We have a different uh, product mm. 
we start up with the like for the domestic we have 500 watts to up to okay. 2.5 kilowatt uh, generators with us okay for this rooftop generators it is for purely domestic purpose okay and actually i have seen in uh, movies like uh, there will be uh, large turbines to rotate right like but i have never seen uh, this kind of small things yeah large so, Large generators is for the power generation to mm. supply from the grid levels, okay. which is starts with the megawatt. Mm. Now, we, with the domestic doesn't need a megawatt, domestic needs only the kilowatts. Oh, okay. So, so this, uh, is there any challenges uh, to set up these windmill? Nothing, nothing. Mm. Absolutely, there is no challenge. You need a small space. Okay. In your rooftop, you can install. If mm. you have a ground space, you can install. There is a small space of two two square but two by two square feet is sufficient to right. install the wind turbine. Oh, okay. And one more thing, I just want to ask you is uh, like uh, for solar uh, panels, we need to have some maintenance. Like we need to clean, clean them uh, day by day or uh, for uh, one week uh, like that. But uh, for this, well, coming to this, uh, do we have any maintenance cost like that? There is no, absolutely there is no maintenance up to 20, 25 mm. years. Okay. No need to maintain this uh, turbine life is minimum 20 years. Okay. It doesn't mean that after 20 years, it doesn't work. Okay. Maybe it needs some greasing and uh, but, uh, basic But efficiency will be maybe reduced. No, never reduce the efficiency, only it needs some greasing kind of thing, that's it, nothing else. Okay, and uh, do we need to take any permission from government to set up no this no uh, need for to, our residence? No, I believe at, at every government is subs uh, appro approving renewable energies, so yes. no need to take any approvals mm. and permissions for your domestic purpose. Okay, and uh, how much uh, how much it will be cost to set up this? Uh, so it, it starts with like as uh, dif uh, told you, mm -hmm. uh, it starts with um, like uh, eighty thousand to uh, up to ninety ninety thousand rupees per kilowatt. Yes. It, it is uh, uh, enough to in invest the uh, 80 to 90,000 rupees for a uh, 1 kilowatt generator. Right, okay. And uh, we have some subsidies from state, uh, state and central governments uh, to set up uh, solar energy, solar panels. And as like that, uh, do we have any kind of subsidies to set up these uh, wind turbines? No, not exactly. I don't think government is uh, started at uh, subsidies for the wind turbines at present. Oh, okay. So, uh, do you, uh, do we have any loan uh, loan kind of facilities uh, to set up this wind? No, but I I believe the government like uh, Modi is, uh, sir has recently announced some uh, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Yojana where uh, people is going to get some uh, subsidies even. Okay. Uh, so you can uh, check with the government formalities of the state. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for commercial and industrial use, is there any uh, uh, another kind of uh, uh, rules and regulation? Apart from our residents? Uh, there is no such uh, rules and even uh, like uh, Tamil Nadu we installed for a you know, hospital where uh, we are given a 10 kilowatt uh, energy. Okay. There is no such kind of approach is required for this. Uh, right, okay. How much height is uh, needed to set up this windmill? See, usually for the rooftop you need a minimum height where it is the blade is not going to hit to your head and uh, your hands. Right, okay. So basically we will take a calculation from 5 to mm. 8 feet of uh, pole, a single pole, hmm. which is a 4 to 8 mm thickness according to the site we will choose and we will install. Okay, uh, what is the suitable place to place this uh, windmill? Every location is very much suitable so anywhere location. We can, right? Yeah, it is purely a domestic. So where we can uh, get air uh, very... Yeah, if, if you have an air of 2.5 uh, meters per second to okay. up to any any wind speeds, mm. it is very much suitable. Okay. So what kind of components will be used uh, for this windmill? This will be used as a erodium magnets of, mm. uh, and uh, copper coiling. Okay. Uh, with this... Uh, uh, non rusted materials was used okay. and uh, uh, the blades was made with the FRP materials. So, so how it will work? As I said, uh, some kind of kinetic energy to rotational and rotational to electricity. Is that kind of, uh, 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 like what we say, is that kind of phenomena will be there in uh, this windmill? Yeah, or ex anything else? Ex exactly, the, the kinetic energy will be converted, the magnets, once it is started rotating, mm -hmm. the energy will be, the flux, the magnetic flux will be converted into the electricity energy. Okay. Then that will be uh, converted uh, through the coil mm. and windings. It is going to be converted uh, as a energy to the mm. uh, charge controller. Mm. So, what are the requirements we need to have to set up this? 
you need only a small space that's it nothing else right so what will be the cost to set up a uh, 1 kilowatt uh, uh, generating yeah, as i already told you the turbine cost will be starts from 80000 to 90000 mm-hmm. and the uh, installation will be uh, according to the site we will decide right. our engineer engineer will visit the site and they will decide mm-hmm. exactly the cost of the installation uh, right okay. the installation will be done from our end and uh, the maintenance as up to 5 years is going to take care by the company itself right okay if you have any problems maybe the company is going to mm-hmm. replace the machines with the new machines but uh, okay. till today we are in the market since 7 8 years we didn't got any complaints so uh, within how many years or how many days our our money will be uh, come back to us as i told you it is absolutely free energy okay you use how much you want it okay. is not a bill where you have to pay something to somebody like, else like uh, what i'm asking is if we uh, if we pay 1 lakh rupees uh, like uh, we if we spend 1 lakh rupees for this so it will be generate one days? one unit per hour mm-hmm. a calculation of minimum okay. mm-hmm. one unit per hour i'm okay. just giving you example i don't know exactly your consumption of the power yes. mm-hmm. if if it is generating 1 kilowatt that means one unit per hour mm-hmm. Okay if you are uh, running 12 units a day then your current bill will be saved completely free so okay is there any kind of setup like net metering uh, do we, we need to, we used to have that in uh, solar energy right solar panels uh, you mean to say that on grid uh, electricity yes. no there is no on grid for the solar at present no we don't okay. have such meters mm-hmm. so it is completely going to be converted mm-hmm. uh, into the batteries where the storage can be used as a domestic purpose with the inverter so actually uh, uh, what i'm thinking is we can use this as an alternate uh, source like not uh, we should not depend on this uh, completely it's not like a complete flow of energy light right so we might uh, get some kind of uh, issues when no, we don't have uh, yeah, sufficient yeah uh, usually uh, even the solar is also not on a complete energy mm. so if you go for the online uh, meter grid meters also okay if the solar is low then your grid will be going to supply the grid power right okay so for the wind turbines it will be going to store in the batteries so this to battery storage is permanent yes it is converted through the inverter yes. which is going to be the constant energy only mm, yes so usually that's why uh, we even here we have a hybrid system yes. where the solar and wind both will be working together okay so the excess power where we are using entire uh, day up to mm. uh, midnight 12 o'clock we are going to depend on the mm. ba- power backup okay we no need any grid or something else for this mm. we are generating the power from the solar and we are generating power from the okay. wind turbines mm. the both will be going to store into the mm. uh, our battery bank okay. then the battery excess power which is used for that entire day mm. we have excess power which is going to be used for the entire day right and the storage power will be used for the till night uh, 12 12 31 o'clock okay so well coming to renew- uh, renewable energy sources we have uh, solar panel solar energy and on other hand uh, we have wind energy so which will be the best one for residents the both are will be the best okay both are will like be the best, best if you if you best check no if you check the international now the, there is a lot of countries hmm. which is banned the solar because of the radiation So, so I don't want to deep to into. That, uh, like uh, I have doubt. Everyone used to say that solar panels will not have any radiation effect. Yeah, you can check the Google bit because I I used to go through the Google where Google says that so many countries are banned the solar because of the radiation. Actually, we are uh, we have also interviewed some persons from uh, solar, uh, but they have um, I have also uh, asked this question like uh, do we get any kind of radiation? Okay. And they said uh, there will be absolutely no radiation no, at all. No, but I I just gone through the Google where UK was completely banned the solar because of the radiation. Okay. So right. is this your setup, sir? Yeah, exactly. This is the setup. Can you explain? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me explain. Let's uh, speak about. This is a solar charge controller. Okay. Uh, where it is generated from the morning 1.7 units. Okay. Okay. Now at the present of charging uh, amperes, which is coming 9.2. Mm-hmm. Let's speak about my wind turbines. Where this is a charge controller. Till this end, there is a three phase which is coming to the mm-hmm. charge controller. Okay. From there, this will be converted into DC, and there is a power generation. What exactly today we are getting? Right. Like uh, now, it is getting 56.5 volt mm-hmm. output and 97 amperes, which is really high okay. compared to the solar. Oh, okay. Which is from the charge controller, which is going to my battery bank. Mm-hmm. Straightly, the battery bank is going to step up the current of electricity uh, yes. DC to AC again, mm-hmm. which is distributing to all of my uh, floors, like floors. the first floor and the ground floor. All right. And you even we are using to total common area electricity mm-hmm. with this. Uh, 
system okay so you are using entire common area common area and the floors and uh, this uh, terrace and gym my total gym will be hmm. run with this uh, energy right okay so uh, okay. to apply for this wind uh, wind setup so what will be the procedure like uh, if anyone ask you you are uh, running a company so if anyone comes and ask you what will be the procedure? so usually we first go and check the wind uh, speed like we have some uh, measuring meters for that we okay. will basically we, we go, before giving any product we are going to go and check the wind uh, on the site mm -hmm. uh, at uh, day before yesterday also we went to one of uh, a software company where mm -hmm. given as orders mm -hmm. but uh, we went to the gachipoli and we verified the wind speeds over there they have okay. sufficient wind speeds usually gachipoli have high rest hours yes so basically we do the wind test first okay the party for us is the wind test mm -hmm. we will do the wind test and we will go for uh, the uh, mm -hmm. quotations and other things so then after yesterday we given a watusa company we, we went to for the wind measurements even mm -hmm. they are happy with uh, our quotations even maybe we are coming right. soon mm -hmm. we may going to come up with the watusa where the first uh, commercial product for us in mm -hmm. hyderabad okay so while coming to the warranty terms and conditions what will be the warranty for this as i told you uh, we we are ready to give you a free uh, for the up to 5 years mm -hmm. that machine will give you a minimum life of 20 to 25 years okay so after that nothing will happen you have to do some service for this all right okay so what kind of services are you are offering for as of now see till today no machine is given any kind of problems for us okay. whatever we are given mm -hmm. there is no such kind of problems at at date till date right i'm sure there is no problems in the future also because mm -hmm. before releasing a machine we have a patents our own machines of three different machines okay before releasing the machines we are going to do the research on for five years mm -hmm. after getting the patents also so right. We will definitely going to give the guarantee for the customer. Nothing, the, no repairs will be come on these machines. So okay, uh, after uh, this interview, our video will be published. And if anyone ask you, ask you like, uh, uh, if a person wants to have this windmill setup, like he wants to uh, run uh, two bulbs and two fans and one one TV. So, how much will be the cost for that? It is only 500 watts, which is more than sufficient for him so, for his life. Okay, uh, how much will be the cost? Cost? Oh, Around? Oh, hardly 60, 70 thousands. 60 to 70 thousand, we can run two, uh, two LED Yeah, LEDs. television and a refrigerator and other things will be sufficient for so, him. So, it will be okay for uh, one family, four members? Yeah, exactly. It is uh, sufficient for the one family. So, what do you want to say to our viewers regarding this windmill, like oh, conclusion? Oh, I mean, to, I, I want to say one thing where uh, today, the resources is most important. Yes. The resource where you have a free resource, why you want to use the coal and hydro energy? If you don't have two years rains, then what? Mm -hmm. There is no hydro energy. Yes. If it is, there is no coal, then what? Today, uh, when when I used to buy the petrol at, at the time, that is 35 rupees. Mm -hmm. Today, you can see the petrol price. Yes. So people are more interested into the electric bikes today. Why? Because the cost effective. If we are, we are even into the manufacture of the E-cars, e uh, in coming days, we are manufacturers of the e-cars with the hydro, uh, hydrogen. Even we, we are into the project, even we are working on that. Apart from that, we, we are planning to uh, do uh, e-bike with the uh, wind, uh, wind energy even. Mm -hmm. So the bike when it is running, it's supposed to be give some backup to the batteries again. It can be moved instead of 90 kilometers, it can be go to the 120 kilometers. What we have a project today. We are working on this definitely. Uh, in a six months, we are coming up with a new video with your channel. We'll, so I'm just giving you uh, information and requesting you the all uh, the customers and viewers. Please save the resources, which is most important where you have a free energy, free wind energy, please go for this, convert yourself. You don't need to depend on the any departments today. If you have any cyclone, you have your own electricity. If you don't, if you have power cut, you have your own power, no need to depend. So don't depend on today. Oh, so thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for your, for your coming here. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot to all the your team. Right, okay. Great day. Mm, right. So uh, sir is saying that uh, we have limited resources. And also, India is also facing a cold crisis now. If you see uh, newspapers and all, that will be the topic. That is the topic uh, of now. And so, for that, to reduce that, like to reduce the consumption of coal, we need to use renewable energy sources, like whether whether it is uh, solar energy or whether it is 
wind energy but we have to use renewable energy sources yeah because so even uh, last i think last two months uh, electricity charges is also high a lot yes exactly so mm. like uh, in some kind of states also electricity uh, consumption and also electricity bills are also increasing electricity charges so for that to reduce that we need to have a renewable energy source so for that we can consider wind energy as a best renewable energy source so if you have any doubts uh, please let us know in the comment section and that's all for now guys uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the videos go green go electric, go electric.